So my name is Rick Fragnoli. I'm one of the owners of Cleveland Pond Performance. We're out of Columbia Station, Ohio, and we have our 69 Charger on a full 2016 Hellcat at the Chicago World of Wheels show here in uh, 2019. This car here we named Reverence. This is a 1969 Charger, steel body. All the VIN locations are still present on this car, so that means for any Mopo gurus out there, we got our front core support, our fender tag, our dash, and our drip rail. All that's still original 1969 so on top of that, it's a full steel body that we set and graft onto a 2016 Hellcat. So this car basically you take to a dealership, you can set it up as a 2016 Hellcat. So what that means is all the options, remote start, heated seats, cooled seats, backup cameras, remote touch key fobs, all that stuff works on this car. So this is, a, this is our shop's car that we built. And um, when we started this thing, we wanted to basically take the iconic songs of 1969 and highlight all the stuff that the modern amenities have in a car. A lot of places will put a newer motor in a car. We want to go ahead and do all the newer suspension, everything else that goes with it. A big part of us is having not only a car that's functional, that can be driven, but also looks great. So this car is just like a 2016 Hellcat. So what that means is we got independent front suspension in here, full Hellcat brakes, full Hellcat suspension steering gear. Our front lower splitter is all custom made. So we added about an inch of metal through here, and then we got a 2016 front bumper with lower splitter. Our lower front grille you see down there on the bottom, that's a hand piece aluminum. Each piece has built by hand, then we powder coat the end. This green bumper and this black splitter both got cut and sectioned out about four different times to elongate over. Once this was powder coated, we wanted to give it the same look of the upper grille. The upper grill on a 69 Charger is one of the most iconic parts. It's how most people know the difference between a 68, a 69, and a 70. Our hood has functional cold air, which means as it's going down the road, it's bringing air from the outside into the inside of the car. Um, that hood was a part in nine pieces at one point. That hood took about three months to build, and it is a fully functional cold air system. These deeper hood pockets is also a bunch of metal work we did in-house. That's just more or less for styling cues. When we do something like that, you put this together and you go, well, man, this hood per se doesn't match our doors. So we come over with our doors, make our doors deeper through here. This is all styling cues. As we go back through our car, we added our custom spoiler back here. Just a real subtle spoiler with a real small lip on it, just to give it a little bit of accent. Um, our car is running true black chrome all around it. All of our bumpers are Frenched and tucked. Our exhaust runs right through our center bumper. We got our backup camera with our modern amenities backup sensors, and even little stuff back in here will go through and massage. This reverse light, when we went and put these exhaust tips in, was actually about one eighth of an inch higher. We brought this reverse light down, redid our metal through here, and put everything together. So a car like this, we literally go through and metal work every single part of this car to massage it and do it. Interior-wise, we have a full roll cage that is fully trackable. So what that means is we have clevis pins here and here. So if you want to run to the track, full cage. We did a custom headliner up here that tucks our cage in. Um, Interior-wise, all your modern amenities, heated seats, cooled seats, heated steering wheel, navigation, satellite radio, every part of a modern Hellcat is integrated in this 1969, so it gives you the best of both worlds. All this work was done in-house at Cleveland Pound Performance in Columbia Station, Ohio. This is a custom paint that we did in-house. It is a one-of-one -one color. We dubbed it Strangler Green. This paint was literally a one-of-one -one color. We used PBG products. It's a base coat, clear coat on a water-based system. It appears to be a tri-coat paint, but it's not a tri-coat paint. Um, it gives it a candy effect, but it's not a candy effect color, um, which means also you can touch it up as you go. So if you get a little chip here or there, it's touch, it can be touched up. So our wheels we use on this, they're a CCW monoblock wheel. What that means is it's one aluminum chunk of, basically one chunk of aluminum cut down. It's a 20 by nine and a half front wheel. And our backs we want a 20 by 12. So meat wise, when you're running something this big, you wanna make sure that you're getting enough traction down to the road. Um, inside wise for suspension, because we have an independent rear suspension on this. We basically channeled the inside frame, the unibody just a little bit but didn't go crazy because we wanted to make sure everything's in there. Obviously, all you true Mopar guys out there know that normally these wheel wells have been altered a little bit. Sorry, Pierce, we had to because unless you're running 15-inch tires, we didn't have a choice. 
Um, the cool part about driving this car is, is that, quite frankly, it's, it's killer, man. Not only does the car look great, it's honestly horsepower upon that. So with the motor, we did some upgrades too, which we'll show you in a minute. But driving this thing is incredible because it looks like a 1969, but also all the stuff's there. Modern amenities, but you get on it, you can barely even get through the pedals, you're chirping through the rear wheels. Any of you guys have driven an old 383 carb car or whatever, it's got horsepower for back in the day, but in terms of modern stuff, it doesn't have it. This thing on a quarter of a pedal, you're basically chirping your rear tires off. You get to a half pedal, forget about it. You wanna do a rolling burnout, you wanna be at 35, hit it, you're doing burnouts, you're chirping through your tires. It is an eight-speed automatic, even on automatic, you're still blowing tires off the back of this thing. Um, Drive-wise, it's incredible. Up front in our motor up here, um, all these custom closeout panels are all done in-house. So what this is, is this is a custom PBG, this is a candy coat paint on this one. We wanted to give this the look of a heartbeat. So all of our closeout panels basically make this the heartbeat of the motor. This is a 2016 Hellcat, factory 707 horsepower but with any car like this you want to give it upgrades so what do we do with our upgrades we did an upper or lower pulley we did a thousand cc injectors it's got a cook's exhaust full long tube headers um, all that stuff lets, lets us breathe a lot better plus our functional cold air on the dyno on the rollers real light boost to put down about 750 to the wheels crank the boost up some we could easily get that number up but right now it's more or less set for a real safe driving thing so and honestly, guys, 750, it'll blow through. Weight-wise on the dyno came in about 4,350 pounds, right about the ballpark of a new 16 Hellcat. So basically, you have what a 16 Hellcat looks like, or a 16 Hellcat drives like. The difference is you have all the looks of that Conic 69 Mopar that back in the day, we all love the 69 Charger. Modern drive, modern brakes, nowhere near where it needs to be. So you take the best of both worlds. An iconic 69. A 2016 has all the amenities and you blend them together. When you blend a car this together, you don't want to blow it out and make it 269 or 216. You have to seamlessly fuse it together. So we're with Cleveland Palm Performance in Ohio. We think we did our best to fuse our car together. This car was called Reverence as the name of the build. It's had a lot of show press. We appreciate everyone following along and thanks for checking it out. So Reverence was built on a 2016 Hellcat Unibody. So what that means is basically the hole underneath this car is a 16 Hellcat unibody. So you go through and you say, how do you come to the idea of this? How do you go through the build process of this? Well, what we had originally start was three cars. We had a 69 Charger steel body, a 16 Theft Recovery Challenger Hellcat, and then a 16 Charger that was a rollover. It was in a police shootout, had about 30 bullet holes in it. That was our driveline for our motor. That motor from the police shootout car, that's what we have here. Our unibody being a theft recovery had no structural damage to it, but it was just a floor pan. That was a floor pan. So what it is is we get together in the shop. I have an idea. We put everyone together. We start laying down. You go to the fab team first. You say, all right, guys, let's modernize this 69 Charger. Let's go through and do it. So we start going through. We do our measurements and all this stuff. Wheelbase to wheelbase between a 69 and a 16, they're only off a half inch. Between a 2016 and 1969, a 69 is about three and a half inches taller. So overall, size-wise, they really weren't that bad. We did have to add about 10 inches in the back for the rear unibody. Other than that, the stuff was pretty much there. So going through the building stuff, we had 4,200 hours in fab. And what I mean by fab is, is from the metal work, all the work in that front splitter, all that rear spoiler, that was 4,200 hours to take two cars and fuse them together. Then from the 4,200 hours, from the time it hit paint, body, wiring, everything else, we came in at 8,900 hours total. So in those 8,900 hours total, we also had wiring. The wiring, because this car is going through such a transformation, we took a whole 16 Hellcat and built a runner platform right off to the side of the car. We built that runner platform off. It allows us to go through and build a custom harness. Because when you're doing a custom harness like this, there's no R&D out there. You have to basically make sure that your harness comes together and matches everything. So by doing that, we take a harness, lay it out, and you have to go through and have to make sure we have no codes on our dash. We have to own the airbags out. We have to get the headlights to function. In 1969, their electric door motors, or I'm sorry, their vacuum door motors, 1969, we have electric door motors on here now. Well, our current computer system says, flip the headlight doors up. That doesn't make sense. What are you talking about? So you have to program in and do all this stuff. So all of that was part of the wiring issues that go into this car. This car is a team collaboration from all of our guys at the shop going through and putting everything together and making, honestly, one heck of a car. So coming to you guys once again from the uh, Chicago World of Wheels here in uh, Chicago. Um, we got two of the guys with us from the shop. This is Tim, our office manager. This is Andy over here. 
one of our main uh, builders of the car. Andy did a bunch of the wiring and also did a ton of the other fabrication stuff. Andy went through and basically built a custom 16 Hellcat off the side of the car. And while the car was still finishing out metalwork, Andy went through and did all of his wiring magic on the car. So all the cool features that you see in here from wiring and the motor work, mostly coming out of Andy. Um, Tim helped with us, me helped with the design, going through sourcing all this stuff, getting all of our stuff organized. And our car got unveiled at SEMA last year. Tim was instrumental in getting us out there. We went out to Cook's booth, uh, Cook's Exhaust out of North Carolina. Um, Tim worked with them close and was able to secure that spot for us. So as a company, we're really happy to be out at uh, SEMA and really honored that Cook's took us out there. Anyone interested in seeing our build pictures or following along with this build or any of our upcoming builds, our website is Cleveland PAP, as in Cleveland Paul Anthony Paul .com. All of our build pictures are also on Instagram, on Facebook. We'll be reached at 866 236 5031. Um, any of our builds, we build cars for guys from budgets of 50 grand up to 500 grand and above. So, any build or project you guys have out there you want to reach out to us, Fab work, wiring work, paint work, we'll be glad to do any of it, all of it, or parts of your project. Reach out to us and we'll be glad to go through a build with you.